Hello. A pleasure evening to everyone. Um, we are the last group to present in our section in this research. Um, our system is called ISCO Guide, and it is a mobile application we made specifically for PUP. So here are the presentation outlines um, that, we that will be discussed for today, which is the introduction, statement of the problem, scope and limitation, significance of the study, research instrument, diagrams, result, and discussion, video presentation, and Q&A portion. So for the introduction, uh, let me introduce your system and what this application can offer. So ISCO Guide is actually a short term for is scholar ng bayan guide which means it is made only for our university and for the students on the main campus so isco guide mobile application can be used to locate search and find a certain facility inside the main campus it is actually a guide for every student uh, for them to get easily familiarized with the facilities inside the university premises this application also provides the information for the location so here are the statement of the problem. Uh, number one, how may the profile of the respondent be described <clears throat> in terms of gender, course, and your level, uh, which will be answered later on. Second, how does the ISCO guide mobile-based application will give accurate information of the location uh, and distance of the facility from the user's current location. Since I've also mentioned earlier that this app also provides the information of the location and it will be in the terms of functionality, usability, efficiency, portability, and sustainability. And lastly, how will the able the student can easily find the facility located inside the main campus in terms of accuracy and time saving? Actually, uh, for this part, we come up with this question kasi, diba, based on our own experiences, when we first enter PUP, diba, uh, we're not, we're, di natin kabisado yung um, premises. So, uh, hindi, lang na, na, hindi lang naman siguro din kami yung naligaw sa loob and probably until now, may mga naliligaw pa rin. So, this application is actually created for them. So, uh, next part is the scope and the limitation. Uh, so, dito po sa part na to, i-discuss ko po yung scope at limitation ng study na to. And uh, they are the user selection button for login, of course. That is important since may database bank system na to. Pangalawa, sign up form for creating an account for us to be able to log in. Pangatlo, dashboard where we can find the other pages like profile page, settings, and etc. And of course, the main point of this system, the search location and the street view feature. So next is um, to continue, di lang, po yung inf uh, di lang po information ang location na pinoprovide niya. You can also read some informations about the application. It also provides useful information for the students and visitors. But as you can see, this also has some limitations like it can only be accessed uh, with the use of internet connection and can only be accessed within the regions of the university. For the visitors and parents, um, it is designed to cater convenient, sufficient, and consistent to the end user to help strengthen and enhance the service of the college to student, parents, and the visitor as well, and to the future researchers um, for them to conduct more study, particularly about this matter, and may use this as a reference. Next. And for the research instrument, um, gumamit kami ng Google Form. And the profile contains social demographic characteristic of respondents as the name, gender, course, and year, year level. Next, data flow diagram. So level zero. So level zero, um, we have the three entity, which is the user, admin, and the university map. So sa tatlo na yan, it's connected siya sa gitna, which is the guide application uh, na kung saan nagpapakita din na yung mismong process ng bawat entity. And next, for the level 1, um, dito nagpapakita yung mismong process ng application na nagsisimula sa create account ng user hanggang bumalik sa user yung flow ng paggamit sa application. Next, 
Uh, so, I discuss about the system architecture. So, sa system architecture natin, uh, nagpapakita po dito na kung saan, uh, dito po, uh, ginamit namin din kung paano po ginawa namin yung uh, mismo application namin, ma, which is, uh, gumamit kami ng user interface. So, Flutter with the combination of JavaScript, C languages, and CSS. So, so ang user namin is admin. So, user namin types in admin. Then, next is uh, yung student, visitor, then uh, yung faculties natin. So, platform natin is uh, a mobile device, which is uh, Android, Android device. Then, um, ang ginamit namin database is uh, MySQL, MySQL. So, uh, gumamit kami ng database na PHP my admin, so which is uh, nakakonek po siya sa hostinger uh, 000.web that something. Okay, next po. So, use case diagram natin is um, nagpapakita dito na kung saan um, naka-interact po yung between user and admin natin. So, so, makikita natin sa user is nakakonect sa kanya yung login, homepage, then facility located, then map search and locating. So, sa admin naman is system maintenance, then um, manage user information. So, table 3, respondents as two core. So, so as you can see, um, the ICT got the highest number of response with nine responses or 15% and the third year got the highest number of responses with 33 or 55%. All the service co survey questions are connected to the part of ISO 9126. So as you can see in the table 2.2 functionality, naka-arrange na siya into the highest to lowest. Uh, Question number one is 3.5 with a verbal interpretation satisfied.
na po ang ating presenters from the DICT 35. So thank you very much po. Now let's move on to the question and answer po from our guest reactors. Let's start with Sir Randy, please. Yeah, good evening. The one I saw is just parang an application to guide, parang path ba? Parang direction application. Is that yes, correct, Ro? Yeah. Oo. Kasi I came from PUP, so I, parang hindi naman siya ganun kalaki para to create an application. I'm sorry for that. Siguro i, para to make the, the application uh, more useful, um, ginawa mo na rin informative kung saan yung mga locations at tapos mga descriptions and all. Yung mga landmark. Yes po. Oo. Kasi parang nakita ko lang parang sasabihin nyo lang is directions going there. Parang ganun lang, right? Papa. Okay. Yeah. Yun lang yung ako, observation ko. Okay, so may I call on the, ano, the group? So, ano po? For the recommendation po, siguro po yung yung sinabi ni Sir Kanina is the for the future enhancement na lang po nung application since we are not giving a chance to conduct in the POP main campus because of the pandemic so that we, um, wala po kami copy yung blueprint ng POP. That's why hindi na po namin nagawa yung, yung suggestion kanina. So thank you very much, Randy, for the recommendations that have been given to the presenter. So moving on to Sir Alexis, please. Good evening. I agree with Sir Randy with that regard no also i also i also understand why i was wondering when you were presenting no why you did not use android no and uh, i also know that uh, google maps is an integral part of your app no correct that's why you couldn't develop it in android uh -oh. I, I now remember for the rise app no it's dashboard <laughs> thank you <laughs> You mentioned that in your presentation. So anyway, uh, a good addition to that, even though you don't have the blueprints, no? so let's say a good addition is procedures. No? Uh, in, your, uh, in your scope, no? it is intended for freshmen and visitors. No? Okay. Yes, also, yes, sir. Uh, you should include that in your scope. No? Also, addition for additional features in your app, no? You should include the let's say for enrollment. What are the procedures? No, where where's the first step? No, uh, do you proceed with legal or getting a clearance? No, do you proceed with accounting, legal? No, so the steps. No, and where is it located? No, okay. If you can do that, then that's a good addition. No, okay. Um, oh, also for uh, ACE forms. No, okay. So what do you do? What are the procedure? No? Where do you get it? Okay. So step one, step two, and then the location. No? That would be, uh, I think, beneficial for your app if you can uh, include that. But uh, I think the most important part is including uh, freshmen and uh, visitors on your scope. No? Yes, sir. Thank you, Pop. Okay. Ang um, serious sa mga sinabi niya po about sa mga recommendation. Um, pwede po namin ilagay po for the uh, for the future enhancement um. Future enhancement. That's for future researchers. Yes, opo. Okay. Thank you. Thank you sir. Thank you po. Thank you po. Thank you. 